Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the new Sentinel A60. So I got it on my head here. We've just had it for a year now. Been been well with it. Um, it is a pretty nice hood. What I do like about it, now, in this video we're going to talk about likes and dislikes, how this thing works, some of the performance on it. And I was going to show you how to change the lens and the difference between the lenses. And I was going to show you how to change the battery too. So um, I'll pop this on my head here. And, but I do like how it fits, how it sits. So it's it, ergonomically, it, it kind of comes down. It's different than other hoods, but you can see it's almost like dead center with my ears and the weight is there too. So it's distributed pretty nice. Feels good on my neck. Um, that's what I do like about this hood. I mean, it's not a, it, it fits well, comes down to the perfect spot well, um, but I like the way it dis distributes the weight on that with the, with the headgear that they have on there. Um, super comfortable. Not bad at all. So this A60 is a bigger viewing range than the A50. So the A50 had a touch screen as well. They went back to push button with digital display. I think that's nicer that the A50, a lot of people adjust their helmets with their gloves on, Well, you couldn't do it with that. You had to take your glove off. So this one now, you can use your glove, change your settings. Has an external grind button. It's awesome, you hit that, it goes right to grind mode. Um, Shades 5 through 13, so no problem with that. You can low amp TIG weld with this thing down, it says down to 2 amps. I mean, I've TIG welded down, you know, around 10, 15 area and it never clicked off for me. So it's awesome. I mean, it, it, it really is a nice hood. Um, so compared to the A50, this has got a 9.72 inch seeing window through it. So it's a bigger um, viewing range than the A50. Uh, so, a couple of little updates that really improved it, I think, from the A50. Um, I do like it better than the A50 because it does fit my head. Now you can it's just got buttons for the touch screen here. We'll pop that up and I'll show you. So you hit mode. We got weld mode. And then there's our cut mode or grind mode. And then there's our cut mode right there. So shade 5. We can go 5 to 9 on cut. And then welding, we can go all the way up to 13, 9 to 13. And then on the grinding mode shade 3. And now you can adjust it here with the grind or you can hit the outside button for the grind mode. Um, but we'll get it off grind here, put it back on weld. And obviously it's got eight memory locations so we can store eight things on there. We can adjust our sensitivity, our delay, um, everything on it. Basically the, very similar to the A50. Uh, same adjustments but it's pretty nice. And then on this unit too, um, the battery comes in the box. So just, just for everyone's knowledge, and I guess this was a big question that came up, the batteries come in the box with it. They don't come in the helmet. So you got to put the battery in. And I'll show you here. You can see on that side right there is where our batteries are at. Now in the box it came with that little screwdriver. It fits that, that little screw right there. And then you just unscrew that, pop it down, and there's two CR2450s in there. And it comes with two. So just be aware, don't throw the box out and be like, oh, it didn't have batteries in it. No, it's got, it's got them in there. Um, and then obviously you got a grind button right here. But here's what I, I was going to show you guys too. So there's a big debate whether, what should I get, clear or amber? I, you know, I, I like them both. I really, it's hard to say, but you do get a different shade through this when you're welding than you do with the clear. I, you know, and I've asked a ton of people, I've ran them both. Um, but you know, some people stick with the yellow or the amber, and some people love the clear. I have really no preference on it. I think they're both about the same, but it is cool. It fits, you know, a lot of people like the design of it, the way it's shaped. It is pretty cool. It's like a little space helmet, but to change that lens out, super simple, pops right off. You can see we've got four sensors on there, solar backup, so it does not charge the battery, but it helps with the longevity of the battery on the welding hood. And then to put it back on, just click her back on there. Boom, it goes right back on. A um, couple of the things that I don't like about it is, uh, you know, and I've TIG welded mainly with this unit, but I know a lot of people that stick weld, flux core, that thing, sort of thing. So the seal around there, sometimes, it, it, I don't want to say it's not, it's not good, but you still, you get some smoke on the inside of that. So it kind of rolls up in there or dirt, anything like that. But when you're TIG welding, I mean, really, you don't, it's not too bad, but that's one of the downsides to it. Uh, other than that, though, it's, it's a pretty nice hood. Um, been been welding with it quite a bit. I mean, it's 
it's really a, it, it auto changes really nice. The clarity is really good, so it's a one 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 clarity, um, and it does have a three year warranty on the A sixty. So if something does go wrong, let us know. We'll get a warranty claim going, and uh, they've been very good about getting all that updated for us too on the warranties. And you can see one of the positives too. Some people really like that it kind of flexes a little bit, you know, on the top. Now I know you think that's crazy. Why do, why do you care about that? But we know a lot of people that go into boilers or pipes or anything like that, and they, they kind of get in a tight spot and they gotta flex their hood a little bit or lean in on something. And they say they like that flexibility because it's not so rigid. They can kind of squeeze in there. Obviously, you can't fold it in half or anything like that. But I mean, it's still pretty, pretty nice hood. And the shape of it is pretty nice. I, I've noticed that it comes down all the way. I don't get flashed on my neck, um, and I do like that. I like the way it sits, like I said, on my head. It, it, it ergonomically, man, it's balanced, and that's what I do like about it. But all in all, pretty nice hood. But if you got any questions, comments, please leave them down below. Hope we answered everything you guys wanted. And uh, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for some more. Thank you.